The clock? It's is 12.39. And I don't think I'm going to sleep tonight. I've got eyelids like anchors reaching for my chin, hoping to make me happy again. And I'm laying on my bed of rocks at the bottom of the ocean in this blue sky is as heavy as the sea and it's weighing down my head so I can't sleep. And the alarm in my mind is ring, ring, ringing. But she? It's not next to me. She's the stardust that got caught up in my storm clouds and we make lightning. I want to follow the night sky to her house, but the cold is frozen this padlock. I'm locked inside a home with walls built of uneven bricks and concrete with cracks in it, making it unstable and constantly crumbling like the relationships that it holds within. These windows embrace truths and tell lies, acting like mir mirrors, giving false reflections, hiding what's going on outside. These doors get blown open by voices that are way too loud. They're not mics, so quit trying to scream through them, these walls. Is there anything but dirty handprints, so stop leaning on them like magello filled legs. They can barely hold themselves up. I'm getting caught in between seams that just get torn apart like unsuspecting hearts who act like the sibling that I never wanted. And we throw mental punches like baseballs or eggs. Let's see who cracks first every day. I'm losing one more piece of my mind that I can't get back. It's like I'm stuck in a house full of cokeheads and cotton candy cup rejects, just trying to salvage the only sanity that I have left. And I'm two clicks away from an explosion, and my heart is sinking into my stomach. And with every beat, it jumps up like a jumping bean into my lungs. And the air that I was breathing is now choking me up. Please, someone find a shovel and dig me out of this hole, this boxing ring. That way, when I throw a word like a punch, you won't hurt someone these days. I think all I'm looking for is an escape. Right now, she is just that. When this world speeds up, she slows it down. She's the back pedal, the brake. She keeps this roller coaster from moving too fast, and she's like next to me. When it gets a little bit too scary, and it does. So let's unscrew these bolts, unlatch these hinges, unfasten these seat belts that are strapping us down to this life like roller coaster, because it's only made to pick you up, then let you free fall. And I can't wait till this ride ends. That way, I can tell the next person in line to hold on tight. Hold on tighter on these curves. Hold on tighter when you're upside down. Hold on tighter on these bends because life isn't always perfect and this roller coaster doesn't care if you're strapped in or not, so just hold on tight. That way you won't fall out. <laughs>